been a while since I've done a video, so uh, let's do one. We've got a 35 watt LED, I think it's Heiko Liddy. Heiko Liddy? However you want to say it. Uh, from eBay. Just got it in. Uh, gonna do an unboxing and uh, we're gonna fire it up, maybe even take it apart. Uh, haven't opened it yet, other than taking it out of the outer box. Um, let's look at the outside first. So there's that tag there. There's the other side of the box there, 35 watts. 100 to 277, so if you needed to put this on 277, you can. Um, this one's a 5000K. I, I didn't know that, that the other two uh, color temperatures were available. I would have rather had the 3000, but you know, whatever. Um, got your uh, five year warranty. I don't know who you'd claim that with. Uh, give me some size. Uh, as Abe says, Intertech Mark of the Beast. Nothing on the bottom. It's the other side, it's pretty much the same. And other end. So, let's, uh, let's get into it. Got a little knife here. See what's going on in here. So I haven't seen one of these on e on uh, YouTube yet, really. I mean, I saw one guy, but he didn't really go into it. So I'm probably going to take it apart a little bit here as well. We're going to fire it up first. So let's see what we got here. So we've got our uh, fixture. Got some dirt on it. Uh, I think that's just the uh, dust from the cardboard. So uh, let's see here. We got a label B1. Suitable for damp locations. And there's some more information. You got your uh, a rather large photo cell. I think this is probably a regular photo cell. It isn't one of those integrated ones like some of the like the cheap fluorescent ones come with? Hopefully, there's another. Uh, label there and here's the bottom this one versus the other one I saw on YouTube this one has a little bit of ridging down here to hopefully maybe take some of the light from those diodes shining straight down and kind of aim it out to the side a little bit got some nice refractor going on here at the back side kind of set up right now for uh, mounting to like a wall or directly to a post you know um, you got some uh, venting on here. This is a uh, aluminum housing and this is a uh, plastic of some kind you know either polycarbonate or acrylic you know hopefully it's acrylic um, rather than polycarbonate because acrylic doesn't yellow as fast at least that's what I'm told so let's see what else is in this. Let's set this over to the side for a second so I'm gonna pull this, this packaging out here it's kind of awkward just bear with me We've got a whole packet of stuff there. We're gonna check that out in a second. Got our get that out of there. Let's see what else we have in here. We have a little manual or something here. Obviously, you can pause the video if you want to check that out. Nothing on that side. Cool. All right, let's see what we got in this little bag of stuff. So it looks like, let me open it up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move the box out of the way now. Don't need that. Don't need those papers, we already looked at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this over here. All right, what do we have in here? We have, oh, this is like a little sticker. A little sticker that you uh, can put on uh, wherever you're gonna put this thing and it's got a hole for your conduit I guess that matches the back here and three three dots for your uh, for your screws nifty we got some uh, anchors here uh, drywall concrete maybe I think those are concrete anchors Ugh, that's rough trying to drill into concrete Ah, I've got a uh, 
I don't know wire nuts there. I've got a uh, clamp for mounting here when you take this piece out to mount this onto a post. I will be doing that later. Uh, don't know if it'll make it into this video, but nonetheless, we've got looks like three wire nuts. Decent ones. They got the little um, metal pieces in there, so it's not those cheap plastic ones. So those aren't bad for you know they'll do good for 18 gauge or whatever. And we have some really small little lag bolts, tiny little, uh, a little bit what is this, five sixteenths maybe, or I'd say like eight millimeter. Here I got one. Hold a second. Oh, right on the money. I've been doing this a while. Eight millimeters, perfect. So those are eight millimeter. And of course we got some washers and all kinds of fun things. Let's scoot this all out of the way for now. So, I don't see any wiring hanging out. Oh, QC pass, that's good. That's on there tighter than I can use my fingers on. That looks like a 10. What do you think? Let me guess a 10. Where's my 10 mil here? I only have metric stuff anyway. Oh, I was wrong. Let's see. I'll just bring the 11 and 12 over here. I'm going to say 11 because it was really close. We got 11. Aha, that's the winner. That's only relatively tight. Mm. Of course, I didn't bring my impact over here, so I've got to do it manually. Let me pull this out. I guess you could fast forward if you wanted to. It's always worse to take bolts out. Nobody likes to see people take bolts out. All right, into the business. Got a nice little. Oh, that's nice. It's got a little gland there, sealed off, a little pigtail action. Looks like the wires are, eh, they got solder on them, tinned. This is, let's see here. Ah, this is Kunzi SJTW, 105C rated, 300 volts. 18 wire gauge. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty stiff. It's also relatively chilly. Not as it is in other parts of the world, however. There you go. Alright, let's uh let's fire this thing up. Oh yeah, first we can kind of look in there. Let's fire this thing up, see. See uh I'll put a piece of tape over the over the photo cell. Let's We'll check later, see if that works. So we'll just put a piece of tape over it for now, just to hopefully block it enough for it to crank up. I got a since the last time I've done this, I got a fancy little pigtail action. I got the uh, hot, neutral, new round. So let's try it out. Let's see if I can do this without making something explode. So we got our hot. This is not as good as a cliff quick test. This is the uh, anti-sodium ghetto test. Boy, this is so, so ghetto. Now, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap a little piece of tape around that. Just it's, it's always just good to do that. Just to make sure. I mean, it's not a huge deal if the neutral and the uh, ground touch but it is a huge deal if the hot and either one of those touch so let's just kind of let's let's kind of do a little bit of preemptive safety measures there okay so that's not so safe safe let's see yeah let's see if we can get this thing to happen all right i'm gonna fire it up i got the uh 
kill a lot over here in the corner. Ooh, I heard something click. Whoa, goodness gracious, that thing's bright. Wow, that's 5,000K for sure. Let's see if we can get some zoom in on there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay, so it does work. And it is bright. So, let's see if we can go back down in this corner here. And get some... There we go. No, it's going to blow out. That's fine. We can at least see what's going on here. So we got 125 volts coming in. Power factors 0.98. Uh, my uh, kilowatts a little janky when it's a really low wattage. It, uh, it likes to kind of go back and forth between like no load and load or something. Uh, I'm probably going to get another one at some point, but it does work. Uh, yeah, we're sitting 59.99. 35.1 volt amps. 34.6 watts. Yeah, I know it's between zero and that, but you can just ignore that. So it's 35.6, 34.6, and 0.28 amps. So that's, that's actually really nice. I wasn't expecting a really good uh, power factor like that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's turn this thing off and let's see what's going on in here. Well, I had to die down a little bit there. As kind of dimmed out. It's pretty cool stuff. Kind of scoot that out of the way. All right. Looks like we've got four Phillips screws. You know what? I'm going to speed this up slightly. I am going to grab the impact. Maybe a couple of bits. And we're going to see if we can do something with this. get this lid off Let's see what we got going on here Ooh, there it goes yeah all right so then yeah it's blowing out a little bit yeah you can count how many that is I don't feel like counting that right now that's a lot Go look, look at the board. Come on, focus, focus. And, oh, up oh, there. Okay, there we go. There's the board number. Okay, why is it got to be like that sometimes? It's rather interesting. Okay, let's get a little bit further into it. Here. You can skip forward if you want. Obviously. Because nobody likes watching people take screws out. Even I don't. Okay. Now let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Hey! Ooh. Interesting. Oh, okay, there's Shmoo on there. That's good. That's a good thing, but I was not paying attention, so I got some on me. That's not a lot, actually. In it. Okay. Alright, well. Well, that's why we got shop towels for. Let me clean that up real quick. And I have some more to put on here anyway, so not a big deal. Okay, so we have our... Uh, we have our plate that the um, circuit board is attached to and is screwed down with three screws. And I'm guessing it's going to have some silicone schmoo in there for heat sink compound, whatever you want to call it. This stuff's kind of gray looking. Yeah, whatever. And, uh, oh, yeah, we have our photo cell. Let me move the screws out of the way. Have our photo cell in there down in the bottom and our driver. And it's the driver is bolted in there, but it's kind of loose. So let's I'm gonna switch to, to uh handheld here. We're gonna pull this driver out, take a look at it, see what's going on in there. Now the driver 
screws are different. They're a machine screw versus the other screws were kind of like a coarse thread, almost like a wood screw. And let's see what we got going on here. So, yeah. Okay, left side on there. We <laughs> just try not to get heat sink compound everywhere. Put a little bit of that uh, yellow tape, whatever this crap is. Uh, it's the cap stand, cap stand, cap something. I don't know what it is, but uh, I guess it's good stuff. And I got that holding this, apparently holding this thing together. It's just interesting. Let's see if we can pull this off here. Get into the meter over here. See what's going on. Is this like an onion? Oh, oh, okay. It's like partially potted. Uh, I guess that's nice, huh? All right. Let's get a little close up on here. So we got us a transformer. Got some capacitors. It's interesting how it's not focusing. Again, so I'll just have to manually do that with my other hand there. Here, yep, yeah, oh, whoop, there it goes. So we got a heat sink here, a little transistor action going on. I can't read it. Let's see here. So yeah, you got your, uh, I guess this is your, you got a couple of these uh, capacitors, I guess, for voltage spikes. I am not an I am not an electronic engineer, so you know, just watching Big Clive engineering. <laughs> so uh, it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's potted and epoxy, I guess. You know, not bad. Uh, the top's bended a little bit, so that's good too. And uh, yeah, down here we have our photo cell. So. Let's take that out and see what's going on there. It has like this clear... I'm going to refocus. Oh, I'm not trying to knock the camera. It's on kind of a interesting, uh, precarious situation. If you've seen my uh, Not Your Daddy's... Uh, ooh, that's going to need a pair of pliers. Not Your Daddy's uh, floor lamp there. And that's what this thing's mounted to, because that's the tallest thing I have to uh, mount something to. So, there you, there you go. Mm, let's see, that might do it. Excuse the loud noise. Toolbox. Another thing, if you... Ooh, ooh what was that noise? I'm making a creaking noise. We've seen in previous videos how nasty my workbench was here. Um, I've actually I've actually cleaned it up, <laughs> finally. So I got to to cleaning because it was just getting it was getting really bad. And I probably had said that oh, I'm not gonna clean it up. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't need to do that. Well, I just did. So I like clean things. All right. So there's the nut off of that. Oh, it had some. Uh, th this thing is being very irritating. It's, it's like it just, it's, the focus is locked off. It, it normally just like an autofocus. It had some, uh, a little bit of silicone or something, which is a good thing, uh, to refocus again. Come on, there it goes. To, uh, prevent, oh, that's why that clear piece is on there. Here is because, uh, well, I'm going to pull this thing out, so. I'm going to take a look at it, see if it's got some, if I don't break it, oh goodness, yeah, it's in there. It made a crunchy noise as it came apart. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea. <laughs> we'll find out here in a minute. Okay, there we go. It doesn't, oh, it doesn't have any, there's no, there's no, there's no anything anywhere on it at all nothing I was expecting there to end look I already got it all over me now <sighs> yeah whatever it's, it goes everywhere 
But hey, you know, nobody's done this yet, so I'm doing it. So there's the inside. You got your, uh, I mean, it, you know, it's sealed up pretty good. It's got a silicone, uh, it's got an O-ring right there um, on the bottom right here. And it's siliconed in place or glued or something. Some sort of glue, soft glue, which is good. It's got an O-ring in there. It's all, all the good things. All the good things are happening there. So we're going to put this back in here. So I actually do plan on using this thing. I'll seal that in there. And uh, there you go. So this is your 35 watt. Uh, we're going to stop this part right here. And I'll probably go to uh, putting it outside. I'm probably going to compare it to my, I have a 50 watt uh, mercury vapor yard blaster outside right now. And I'll probably take a, like a before and after. So I'll put the, I'll put the uh, shoot a video of the uh, Merc running, and then I'll take it down and I will put this thing in its place and we'll shoot that again and see what's, what's happening with that and see what kind of you know light patterns it puts out and all that fun stuff. So, all right, thanks, thanks for watching this part and uh, yeah, to the outside. All right, real quick, uh, before we go out there, just a couple observations um, that I missed. Let me see if I can do this without... Okay, those are all going to come out. That's fine. Um, the uh, refractor, it's, it's nice. It's got a little... Is it actually focusing? Whoa, whoa, look at that. How about them apples? It's got a little... Oh, you can see it kind of poked up over here. A little seal. It's the same kind that's on the... Uh, oh... And this also has a little seal in the front as well. It's the same kind. All three seals. The seal for the photocell to the body. The seal for the front of the photocell because the front of the photocell is literally open. And that's what this clear plastic cap is on there to seal that. And then uh, this is also sealed. And it has a nice little ridge around the whole uh, bottom of the, uh, the uh, body there to, uh, to uh, push on this seal. And uh, one more observation was the fact that this, this doesn't really have... I, I kind of cleaned it off now didn't really have a lot of uh, heat sink compound on here and um, yeah it, this isn't bare metal so the uh, uh, coefficient there and I think this is painted because you can see this is face this isn't this isn't anodized or anything so this is gonna affect your uh, performance of the heat sinking from this plate to this housing and uh, this being 35 watts in an enclosed environment, it probably needs to get uh, better contact. So either some more um, heat sink compound, and, and this and this lip isn't exactly flat. It's slightly concave towards the middle. So, or maybe it is flat. I don't know. It just doesn't look flat. Um, I'll probably maybe sandpaper this or do some, something to kind of rough it up to get some of the bare aluminum and uh, then put some more heat sink compound on there and get a better connection. Oh, and uh, one more thing that I thought was pretty nice little touch is the uh, it's elastic uh, on the uh, welds there. Uh, welds. Um, mm, solder. Words sometimes are, are, are hard for me. If you haven't already noticed me, just kind of pause and not say anything. It's because I'm trying to come up with a word. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, oh, you know what? Dang it. One more pause. Hold, please. Yeah, I've got to measure the LEDs. Everybody probably wants to know, what, what, what kind of LEDs are these? What size are these? Because, hey, you know what I'm going to do with this. You know my deal. I'm going to be putting amber in this bad boy. I am not leaving it 5,000K. You, you know what I'm saying? So, what do we got here? Ooh. I'm having a little bit of trouble there. I just want to make sure I get it on there just right. Okay. That is three. Is it three? That's yes, three millimeters. And. The other direction is that squared three three square or is that four three and a half 
three by three and a half. Uh, I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know if that's a size. It looks, it looks like a single chip. So I, th I think if I counted this right, these should all be half watt chips, which is a good thing because the one watt chips are a lot harder to get in amber. Um, half watt chips should be okay. So we'll have to. So this would be what a thirty thirty five or a thirty five thirty or something like that. Yeah, we'll we'll look it up, or you can whatever you want to do. All right, enough of that. Thanks. Oh, just like watching Jackie Chan. One more thing, Jackie. And there he goes. A little bit of a close up of the chips. Get the reflection off of the under cabinet deal there. Got a little ah. I keep knocking into that. I'm sorry. A little uh, corner there. Yeah. So if you want to get your own chips and do stuff, you know, make it happen.